All right, guys, welcome back to this tutorial. Now, as I said previously, in this uh, video, we're going to build a very simple page using Bootstrap 3 and Emmet. So go to getbootstrap.com and download the latest Bootstrap 3. Now you'll get an archive and from that archive, you got to extract the dist folder. Uh, this will contain the CSS and JavaScript we need. So I've already done that and in here I have a simple HTML markup uh, and I'm linking the Bootstrap CSS and the Bootstrap JS. So let's, uh, let's build a very simple landing page. The first thing we got to do is center our content and we'll do that with a div with a class of container. So we're going to say container and inside we'll place our, uh, our main content. So let's do a header first, which has an h1 and a paragraph, right? The h1 is going to be the title of our page. And let's also do uh, do a, an anchor tag inside it. Let's go to index HTML, say this is a landing page. And the paragraph, let's give it a class of lead. Now lead makes uh, makes that paragraph stand out a bit it increases the font size and we're gonna say this is a description of this page okay save let's check it out and there it is okay cool next let's add a nav bar so i'm gonna start with this nav bar and inside the nav bar we're gonna do a list with the class of nav and navbar nav. Now inside that we're going to do list item times four and inside each list item we're going to do an anchor tag with the href going to a hashtag. Okay so let's uh, let's expand this and we have all the markup here. List item we're going to do a class of active on the first one and we're going to say home for text. This, uh, this next one is going to be for product features. So let's say features here. Uh, the next one is going to be for some testimonials. And finally, the last one is going to be for ordering. So order now. Okay, save. And that's our nav bar. Next up, let's add a nice uh, slider or carousel. So we'll start with this uh, a div with the class of carousel and slide and with an ID of let's say carousel example. Expand that and inside we're going to continue with some indicators. So OL with the class of carousel indicators. Let's do three of them. So list item times three and also this list item has a few attributes. So we're going to say data target, that's the first one, equals. We're going to give it the ID of the carousel, so carousel example. And the second one is data slide to, let's put it to zero for now, by default. Okay, let's expand those. Let's change these to one and two. And let's add the class of active to the first list item. And that's it. We don't need to place anything inside the list items. Okay, let's save, see what we got. Nothing's showing yet because we don't have any slides. So let's add those. We're going to say div with the class of carousel inner. And inside it, we'll place our slides. So let's do this div with a class. Or we can actually just, uh, just give up the div completely. So carousel inner, which contains item and active and inside that we're going to do an image plus a div with a class of carousel caption again we can give up the div all right so let's see what we got div carousel inner div class item active image source alt all right it looks pretty good so source let's go with um, like a placeholder image so i'm going to say http lorempixel.com slash Let's do 1170 by 300 alt, let's say image, and then the caption, this is a caption. Okay, let's, uh, let's refresh, 
and there it is that is the first image and these are the indicators along with the caption let's uh, duplicate this div class item two times remove the active um, class because we don't need it anymore and let's change the image here let's do people and finally let's do like business and change the caption caption 2 and caption 3 all right let's refresh and now it is working let's also add some controls on the sides and we can do that by adding right here we're going to say a with a class of carousel control and the href will be carousel example and also it's going to have an attribute of data slide and that anchor tag will contain a span or a class of icon either left or right so let's expand that let's uh, clean this up a little bit so href carousel class data slide we're going to put it to previous and span is going to be icon prev and also on the class we're going to say class left Okay, save, refresh, and there it is. Now let's do the same for the other one. Simply copy, paste, change this class to right. Data slide is going to be next, and icon is going to be next. And there it is. So that is a working carousel. Next up, uh, let's take care of the features. So we're going to start with a section with the ID of features expand let's start with some titles so h3 plus maybe a paragraph for description plus an hr h3 should be product features the paragraph okay save refresh looking good so far next up let's add like one of those uh, grids that has multiple columns and inside it we're gonna place an icon and some text so uh, to use the grid we're gonna do a div or simply dot row which has dot col lg4 now col lg4 stands for column large and four which is the number of columns that's the uh, the new way to create columns in bootstrap if you remember from bootstrap 2 uh, you had to use a div or an element with the class of span. Well, in here they changed it to col. So row col lg4, and that contains. Let's use the something called a media object, lg4. Let's expand this, and inside it we'll use something called a, a media object. So we're going to do dot media, which contains an anchor tag with the class of pull left to align the image to the left and the anchor tag has an image let's do href equals let's do a 64 by 64 image all it's going to be image okay let's expand that and do a bit of cleaning here oops i made a little mistake here we don't have a href on the image of course we need to place this in the source attribute now besides the anchor tag we also need some text so we're going to say a div with a class of media body and inside it we'll place an h4 with a class of media heading plus a paragraph okay let's say feature name and let's do lorem 5 or lorem 10 that's going to give us some uh, some placeholder text so let's check it out refresh and there it is now simply just uh, copy this bit and paste it three times okay and now you have a feature list now let's uh, add some testimonials I'm gonna add an HR there and then a section with the ID of testimonials expand and inside we'll do div with a class of panel which contains a div with a class of panel heading and let's do some text here that says a few words from 
our customers. And then inside it, we'll do some more columns. So we're going to say uh, plus. We need siblings, yes? Div class row, which contains two divs with a class of call LG6 times two, yeah? And each one of these will contain some block quotes. And we can go even a step further and add small inside the block quotes and then a site inside the small tag. So we have a very, very long uh, shortcut here. Let's expand it. And that is perfect. We have a lot of markup written in just two lines of, uh, of shortcuts. So we have the panel heading, we have the div class row with two columns. And now we just have to add some text here. But let's come back to to this. I'm going to do some curly braces. And I'm going to do a lorem 10 small text here. It's going to be let's say john from and the site text is going to be source expand again. And now we got to go here and expand and expand again. So that's it for the testimonials. Let's have a look. And that's how it looks like. Now there may be a few padding issues here. But remember, uh, this is only a release client too. So there might be a few bugs still. But the point is, look how fast we wrote this entire section right here. Now finally, we have the order section. So we'll do it like this section with an ID of order which has a div with a class of well, and well large. And that one has an h3. Let's do let's center the text. So we're going to use the helper class text center. Let's say order now. And then we're going to have one paragraph with the class of text center, that's going to say something like receive a great bonus, plus another paragraph with the same class, which has an anchor tag with the class of BTN and then BTN primary, that's going to say something like place order. And let's do a little arrow there. Okay, let's, uh, let's expand it. So div ID class well, the h3 is here, the two paragraphs, BTN, BTN primary. All right, so that looks pretty good. Let's, uh, let's have a look. And there it is this, uh, this gray container here is called a well. And the well LG stands for well large. And then we have the h3 paragraph and button. Alright, guys, so that's it for this tutorial. Uh, as you can see, Emmet has amazing potential. And as a web developer, you can definitely benefit from it. So go ahead, download it, play around with it and be really productive. I mean, we just created this entire page in a couple of minutes. And once you get used to all the shortcuts and all the syntax of Emmet, you're going to be even faster than this. Also, have a look at the new bootstrap. It's still in development, but you can prepare for when its final version will be out. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm Adi Purdila. See you soon. Bye bye.